That's no more. That's an asshole. It wasn't a phase. everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Senior Citizen Podcast, and we are here with Fast Walker! Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's up, guys? <laughs> so, it's a full house, as everybody can see, but uh, just everybody take a moment to introduce yourselves one by one. Nico first. Uh, hi, I'm Nico. Uh, I sing. Look at the camera, big boy. Oh, hi, I'm Nico. <laughs> I sing for the band. <laughs> I'm Derek. I play rhythm guitar and do backup vocals. I'm Joey, and I play bass. I'm Matt, and I'm playing uh, drums. So. so what I'm basically hearing, Nico, is that you need help. Like, yeah. you need assistance yeah. with the vocals. Yeah. You yeah. can't Absolutely. hold your own. Yeah, these guys these guys basically help me <laughs> sing the songs because every time we perform, I normally I normally push myself out, like, 100% normally. My, yeah. my throat's normally shot after a show. For yeah, sure. he tends to really get in the moment <laughs> and uh, let loose and um, just <laughs> scream at the top of his lungs. So. <laughs> yeah. So I want to hear a little bit about how the band got started. Uh, do you guys just walk really fast, or <laughs> yeah. exactly what that means? Uh, to be to be fair, we definitely are some literal fast walkers. Uh, <laughs> I think we've even joked about it in the past. We've had conversations of like how fast, like we're just like out of our cars and like we turn around and we're waiting on someone like, in the car, and like. And then sometimes when we're walking, we're all on different pace. But uh, yeah, yeah, uh, that's not really what it means. Matt, you want to go ahead and give a little bit of a story on that? Because yeah, we, uh, we were trying to figure out like uh, you know a good name for us. We had a bunch of different names going through the uh, Rolodex. And then uh, we ended up doing uh, fast walker. You know, it actually means UFO. It's like a different term for like a flying saucer. You know, that's what they used to call it back in the day. Matt's really intrigued by UFOs yeah, and a lot of. Uh, well, so are so are we all in general. Uh, I would I would say myself, I am. It's the overall so, theme yeah. of fast walkers. Yeah, just, so you know, that yeah. Whole... just of the not knowing you yeah. know, of what's out there. Um, but aside from that, uh, Matt, uh, I think when the band kind of formed, uh, Matt. It's, it formed like sometime last year before we went up to record the single uh, because Matt and I decided we played in different bands yeah. um, in the past and um, we decided like hey like we have we stopped doing music after COVID and uh, we decided like hey like we wanted to start writing songs again and just try and do something again so uh, we wrote a we wrote a single and, yeah, Derek, Derek, and us, yeah. Derek came Will came uh, our buddy Will from New York um, and we went up and recorded the single there and that's kind of how the band was formed we actually solidified the name while we were up there recording the song yeah we had like a bunch so. of different names we were going through and sat down and we were like you know what fast walker it is it's Rolls off the tongue nice. Yeah. And then got the Gmail immediately after that. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that every time you get, um, like, if I would get fastwalker at gmail.com, I'd be like, no, nah, this is spam. Because it's not, like, at fastwalker. But I know that um, it's funny that you guys are intrigued by that because we actually had, like, a... There's like a Spanish version of Big Brother here, and one of the it just recently ended, and one of the contestants was like, "Yeah, no, I like extraterrestrial friends better than regular people. Like, they're so much nicer." And I was like, "Interesting." This yeah, lady's yeah. off her shit. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you're in Florida too. Like, oh <laughs> yeah. Yep. But anyway, so you guys have you played together before, or was Fast Walker like the first time? So, um, Joey and I we were in a band called uh, Chaser for a number of years. That was down here a bunch with another band called Back uh, Home. Yeah, so uh, I played in a band called Back Home uh, with some of my best friends that I grew up with in high school. And uh, my band Back Home and his band Chaser would tour a lot together. Uh, we'd play a lot of shows. Um, do, we did a lot of things together. Yeah, yeah we, 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 formed, we formed a really strong bond, even just touring, playing shows, um, just even hanging out. Like, we would always be with each other, even Derek when we were Derek was always outside. part of that, too. He yeah. was like the you know, either playing with them or just part of the crew. So. Well, I was uh, away at college while most of the stuff was going on. That's true. And exactly. then uh, whenever our, I was our in engineer, town. Our engineer over here. <laughs> let's, let's, let's bring the big guns out. Right? Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> are you actually the grandpa of the group? Oh, or? oh no, he's... <laughs> well, me and Matt are the same age, but I'll take that title. Yeah, off yeah, yeah, yeah no, he's, he's definitely the, the wise elder of the group. <laughs> Old you know, man, he's, he's the overseer for yeah. sure. Yeah. But, <laughs> absolutely. He's wise. But yeah, so I would just hang out with them whenever I was on break or whatever. And... Um, Eventually, I started going to all their shows when I was done with school, and I met Matt at, well, I've known Matt through some of those shows, but we started hanging out trying to make our own music before COVID, and then after we all started hanging out again, they hit me up to go with them to record the single. Worlds collided. And, and here we are. And Derek and I, like, we grew up together. We went to the same high school together. Um, so, you know, we all kind of, we're all just good friends that have known each other through either the music scene or have been best friends. Oh, yeah. In we general. toured together just, a bunch, you know. Yeah. 
live together. Just, just good so, times. so like time frame for Chaser and back home is approximately like 10 years ago ish. Oh yeah. Yikes. Literally. You know, like as crazy years, as, nine years ago we nine started. Nine years ago. Yeah. As crazy as that is. Yeah. yeah. Band called Settle the Tides. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was Chaser's, uh, you know, you thing. Yeah. yeah. It, it's, it's crazy to think how much time has passed. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it, it is crazy Ten how years. much time has passed, but, uh, yeah. I don't almost, like to think about it like years. that. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're getting older for Watching sure. Watching these so. guys play as My Chemical Romance at a Halloween show nine years ago. That's like my first memory of you. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. so sick. We uh, actually yeah. played a first show together, period. My wife and I had a band back in the day called Whatever Comes Next. Oh, and I, had, I, had, I had my band in high school. It was like my first band ever with like my neighborhood friends that I grew up with, my, like my childhood best friends. And uh, it was called it was called Nuvez, Nuvez. Uh, like clouds, yes. <laughs> and uh, we do we do have a single out too. Swamp. Check it out, it's called Swamp Eight. Yeah. Dude, mine was called Dude Man. <laughs> Dude, it's sick, so good. I, I put the time frame into perspective because I too am getting old, and I'm like, that's what I used to go to local shows. I actually met Joey from you guys first, and I was like, hey, I like your shirt, yeah, same shirt you're wearing shirt. today. Yeah, literally the same exact one. <laughs> but I was like, dude, that's so cool. And then I was like, we used to go to, I used to go to shows back in the day, back at the Talent Farm. And then he brought mm -hmm. up anonymous guitars, and I was like, yes, yeah, bro. That's where we got yeah, it's the good old days. That's the stage up to your neck. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we played, we played a lot. Uh, like we set up a lot of shows there. Oh yeah, um, I, yeah. It's that it's was like the the hub. Uh, then they closed down, unfortunately. Yeah. Then we had the Nakava. Oh yeah, and then we just so after hosted shows out of a Kava yeah, bar. So yeah, once once Anonymous Guitar yeah. shut down, we kind of lost our our spot that we like to play at. That was just like a perfect spot that was close by, kind of like what Black Flamingo is for us right now. Like okay. Black Flamingo is like our perfect spot. That's like right in the middle of like everything. Like we host a show there every month, and like it, it just works out really well. But we so what we would do even before it was like the idea the was came from the Nakava idea that we started back in the Chaser back home mm -hmm. days. We gotcha. used to just yeah. go there and host shows basically what once a month. Like we what, we would host shows whenever needed too. Yeah. Like whenever ba uh, bands from out of state. Would yeah, we would get up. like the touring bands. We get like touring the local, bands. Like we would we basically like bigger, we made bands would combine. Would we nice. wanted to create a way for uh, for us to host shows and also pay out like the bands that were coming yeah. from like a far away or Gosh. not financially there. So that way, like you know, they make some. That was money the best part about it. We that was the best part. Of the bands like you know more than your typical local show. Exactly. So, yeah. Nice. Oh, sorry. Go no, you're good. <laughs> um, Since we're sharing. <laughs> Yeah, we have to share a mic. You're my best friend now. Yeah, um, there we go. <laughs> but anyways, no, okay, so I fell out after Anonymous Guitars closed. Uh -huh. I went to Scalloween, okay. which is probably yeah, a Halloween been, show you're we talking about. That referring to. We yeah, played yeah, that show. Yeah. Well, see, it's a small we? world. I was in a gorilla suit. And <laughs> I was, oh, no <laughs> way. And, and yeah. Then, yeah. 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 I had a banana. I mean, not a banana. Um, Ryan was Bumblebee. A banana. I had a Bumblebee. Bumblebee. That's and hilarious. Tommy wore, like, the skeleton top. He was trying to be Tyler Joseph from Twenty One Pilots, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then all of back home dresses by Chemical Romance. Oh, That's yes, very true. Did. Yeah. I do remember that time. show now. Yeah. This guy's that a was really very actually, good now memory. I do remember that. Oh god, it was like the second show we ever Every, played. You know, was terrible. Wild. It was a great time. If I said I remembered any of you. It'd be a lie. Um, <laughs> I was dressed up as a cat. That's all I remember. It was that, a fun night. Um, that's but, wild. Um, it's, cra it's crazy, like how that, like it, uh, it's funny because I I met someone like recently that like as well like that has been to like a show at Anonymous Guitars. That like it's it's crazy that like no matter what time frame you are in your life, like there's connections that bring you together in the future as well exactly. like ex exactly the fact that you've been to one of the shows that both of our bands have played but like we this is our first time you don't think of it at the time you don't think that that's and you don't think of it at the time but it's like but one day like you you know you were standing in the same room with that person it's you like never the foundation know. of what, what happens yeah. you know yeah. Anonymous yeah. Guitars was the beginning yeah the exactly people well, that you cross paths that, with, at least for us yeah the amount of people that you cross paths with like years later and you had no idea like the amount of people that I've probably taken into account it's crazy like, yeah, yeah. It's like oh I was at this show I was at talking to the mic. it's like we played all three of those and I didn't even know who we were. <laughs> into the mic my guy <laughs> it's, it's okay we'll we're fix still it trying to figure it out <laughs> yeah sorry no sorry, I'm, not I'm not as cool as Derek when I had time off from college I wasn't coming to shows or anything so at least you you stuck through it you know oh yeah I mean, Derek was you're doing a podcast. Sh you were so. shredding though, that's for sure. You were skating like a like a savage out there in uh, in Gainesville too while you were in school. Yeah, I mean, I didn't really play music too much while I was out in college. It was really like uh, Matt and me getting close around 2018, 2019, um, and trying to write some like garage band tunes at his apartment. 
And then once, you know, they had their project going on and we all kind of fell back in together, I started pick up, picking up my guitar every day. Mm -hmm. I started taking lessons. I started taking singing lessons yeah. Derek's to try to keep up with these guys that have been doing it for so long. <laughs> no, but Derek's really, yeah. he's come out of everyone. He's come the furthest for sure. He's come a very, very long way. Oh, you're gonna so proud of this guy. <laughs> this guy, honestly, no one works harder than this guy right here. So he's a truly phenomenal guy. Well, same as Matt, all of us, you know, we all put in 100% in what we do because we love it. You know, it's, it's also what brings us closer together. Yeah. Um, I love it. I'm going to make a highlight later on of all the bands that I've had in here and all the bromances because oh. it's just the cutest oh, thing. Oh, yeah. We're, we're definitely like super. <laughs> Nick has a huge crush on me. It's I'm, a definitely, fact. <laughs> I'm definitely very attracted to my friends. Oh, yes. Is that why he put on busy. deodorant today? Was yeah. it for you? It's the only reason. <laughs> <laughs> Me, Joe, and Nick are all wearing the same deodorant. For the record. <laughs> <laughs> not, not because we sprayed, we sprayed it on each other. Because we just, we've been hugging each other. That's why Derek sprayed it on himself, and we just we, we, we hugged each other. We can't get we enough of it. In. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so your single "Play Pretend" you guys recorded it in New York. Mm -hmm. How? Well, what was that? Massachusetts. Oh, it was actually Massachusetts. Massachusetts. I heard New York. Massachusetts. Uh, the reason New York is because uh, we flew out to New York. Uh, we flew out to New York to meet up with our. Uh, beloved third guitar player that unfortunately he's not in a lot of things right now but he is very prominent and he's in the band he's, he, he exists <laughs> he's, right. a he's, a, he's a part he's a he's a he's a part of the band it's um, okay if he was here i don't think he would no, be yeah. <laughs> yeah he wouldn't fit either pick, pick two and, and head out <laughs> um, but, but will's working in new york as like uh as like a, a studio he works and builds studios uh up in new york with a company and he's phenomenal at like what he does he's also like an audio engineer he worked at a studio yeah. in miami but we landed but, over there and we, we landed yeah. over there and like we we also have written and worked with will musically as well he's just a phenomenal Oh yeah, Will was also part of Chaser as well. So yeah, so yeah. it's like it, it's all it's all a connection yes. of like of all the closest friends that we've done music and have done stuff through. It's just a collective of people that have been doing this for so long. As but so that's yeah. that's why we ended up going to New York is that mm -hmm. we, we we were gonna meet Will up there. Yeah, it's him, close to his apartment. Yeah, hang out with him for a day. You know, get a feel for what it was like in the city, and then drive to Massachusetts, Got and that's yeah. what we did. And then we recorded it in uh, Massachusetts. Uh, uh, Springfield. Springfield. Yeah, the name yeah. of the studio is uh, Ghost, 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 Ghost Hit, Hit Records. Yeah. Yeah, Ghost, Ghost, Hit Ghost Hit Recording. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ghost Hit Recording. That's I it. I yeah, it was that. literally yeah, it's, yeah in a uh, old uh, haunted church. It's not it's haunted, like, dude. It's pictures not haunted. Okay. okay yeah, you can. It, it's, but, while he gets while a, you pull up the pictures, fuck that. Okay, like no. Okay, so <laughs> we um we slept. It's beautiful. We slept on the like first floor of this. Church, church that was renovated to be a studio on the second floor okay. and outside of our bedroom windows was literally tombstones colonial like a graveyard. tombstones <laughs> mind you that, that was <laughs> like the biggest God. little kid this was a year ago he was so well. scared exactly. goblins like, exactly and ghouls this everywhere like, this weekend a year ago we were yeah. in the studio one year we're, yeah so this is our one year anniversary of like mm -hmm. going like this weekend we, we were survived recording. Play pretend. Yeah, we survived. survived. <laughs> I scared the living hell out of Matt in the apartment. Okay, I got to tell you, it, it was so. So all right. So Matt, Matt was like, of course, panicking the whole time, like how he normally is. He's, he's checking he's behind like every single door. We're in a haunted he, church, so yeah, I was panicking. <laughs> I actually have the That's pictures. Some white people shit, okay. I have <laughs> I have some pictures pulled up here, but like right. it, it really. I took long walks in the morning, like around like the cemetery. I know that's creepy, very creepy, but it was truly a beautiful sight. Like I, I just enjoyed my walks every morning, and we have tons of pictures of like what the studio looked like inside like it was just beautiful and uh the amount of gear that was in there it was like heaven for oh matt. yeah especially the drum gear but me and matt were going nuts it uh, was uh but. a little little too scary for me i don't like <laughs> I, don't, I don't deal with that stuff i'm a hey. i'm a so matt was uh in the apartment we were all we were all just in the apartment like hanging out and uh matt was panicking like he normally was whatever <laughs> just doing whatever being scared walking around alone into the other rooms and <laughs> i decided to walk into one of the other rooms while everyone was out in the living room and i, I started uh like making weird noises and like <laughs> just being really weird and yeah. being an idiot because 99 percent of the time that's how i am and uh of course matt's intrigued by it and matt comes and i'm like hiding in between like a little it's weird like the the wall had like a uh, an I opening the wall had the wall had like an opening and I was hiding in like the opening of the wall and Matt was coming around the, the <laughs> around the corner sorry around the corner from here and I jumped out <laughs> I jumped out and I scared him like screaming like a psychopath and he absolutely just dropped to the he it dropped like to the floor like, yeah, he, I looked like he just flipped on a, like a banana peel yeah like, <laughs> like legs up in the air he, and everything. he just combusted that's basically what happened so yeah. he, it was the funniest thing ever but yeah uh, I scared I scared the living hell I don't have a good record with that type of thing yeah, yeah he gets so. he gets scared easily I guess I, I do too um half of what made that story so funny just now is that you're trying to like I'm try, I'm so, uh, yeah. trying I, I to guess my my uh my 
try to get this guy to sit still for two (laughs) minutes. Not easy. (laughs) Impossible challenge. I'm turning on the timer now. No, I'm kidding. Um, But anyways, what was the songwriting process for Play Pretend is what I was getting to, really. Um, So uh, basically, uh, it was funny because at first we were really unsure of what we were going to go up with the studio uh, like to go and record. Um, I recently, like right before we made the plans and paid to to have the studio time, um, basically uh, I started writing some chords and some lyrics and it was during a time period of my life that I was going through like a very weird time where I wasn't really seeing anyone, I wasn't talking to anyone, Um, I've lost a lot of people in my family recently and like um, I've also just been trying to work on myself and spend a lot of time like just taking care of myself because uh, it's been it's been a rough couple of years for myself around COVID and around that time before and after. Um, but so when I wrote that song in mind, like it was more of a song of like a self relief, I think, to myself yeah. in a way. But it's also meant for everyone, of course, like to anyone that writes the song. But that's kind of where I was kind of writing the song about just where I was at that time period of my life and um, just kind of how empty I was at the time. And um, he tracked it. You tracked a demo. I don't know if that was I, you yeah, and yeah. Brian or just you. I, or? I tracked. I tracked a demo with like the the Me guys. Like him, we, yeah. there was, there was different versions of it, like full band, acoustic, like yeah. just different ideas of because the band wasn't even solidified yet. It was just an idea, like oh, yeah, like, I went up with them to take photos and content and stuff. I wasn't even in the band. He, he the made he made jokes the entire time that he was like he's like I'm I'm just there to take pictures. Like I'm not going to even do anything. He ends up playing. He ends up playing single <laughs> every yeah. single instrument yeah. on the song. Literally he does like vocals. Some of the drums too, yeah. Yeah, right, yeah I, I muted a he symbol. Muted, <laughs> yeah, yeah, He's yeah. done basically everything on the record. So, yeah. Derek wrote so the song. So now we basically had to get him in the fast walker. So. But, um, yeah. Uh, obligation. No, go ahead. I think that's where I was kind of at, though. Yeah. Yeah, we came up yeah. with a demo that Nick worked on. And then, um, so Alan Day was our producer. He's known for being in Four Year Strong, a band from the scene days. Yeah. Um, the scene, they're still they're very still prolific. Still rocking, they're very they're prolific. Yeah. They're on tour but, with Good Charlotte now. I know, that's crazy. Yeah. It's wild. But yeah, we uh, we actually went up there. We recorded them. That's like uh, the the third time that I've gone up there. So I've had that experience, and I wanted to kind of have the experience again with mm-hmm. these guys and let them kind of uh, you know kind of elaborate on that. And it was awesome. You know, the writing process kind of began with like the demo and go up to Massachusetts and kind of have like a pre production day where we just sit down and like kind of show them what we have. And he kind of listens to it and just goes over everything. And then for the next remainder of the week, we're kind of just tearing it apart you know, top to bottom, reconstructing the things, you know, kind of taking our ideas, combining ideas and writing the song all together. Right. Right. I think the coolest thing about working with Alan was like he picked up on the fact that we weren't a solidified band yet, solidified Mm -hmm. lineup. We didn't exactly know what our sound was. Right. And he just dropped the question, what do you guys want to sound like? And so we started listening to a bunch of different music and kind of getting an idea. Yeah. And he took that point and then took our demo and worked on it with us to make it sound like what we wanted it to sound like. We what bands it. did you say? Oh, what bands did we say? One, two, three, Foo Fighters. <laughs> 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 and sat there and was yeah, like, we're just like, we're just going to let you ride on that one. <laughs> <laughs> we, we did go through a vast, I think we went through a bunch of different yeah, bands. Yeah, we but did. We were, you know, we, we, Angel Dust was one of the ones I kept thinking kind of running in there. I like the kind of like the fun feel of that band, but then also Matt, you know, with the... Queen of the Stone Ages. Yeah, you know, we, we just kind of like the, taking a different type of inspirations, like the fun and the, the heaviness and the different kind of feels from all around like what other just any, remember? anything I like I guess alternative in that manner too just like in in general of like just trying to think of like some of the main bands we, that we were listening to we we as well like as a band listen to so many different types of music like uh, I think everyone's taste is all over the place as it is genre wise mm-hmm. so not only that like I think uh, I think that was a big part of it too you know like yeah that's why, um, I, like, p- half of us were listening to, like, heavier music, half of us were listening to softer music and more poppy music, and then we're just like, all right, well, let's just kind of, s- like, when he said, what do you want to sound like, we just sat down and, you know, just solidified, like, a few right. different genres or, sorry, bands or something like that that we liked. Yeah. So, you know, also was the way that we figured out, you know, how do we want this, the record to sound? Like, how do you want it sonically to sound? Right. And, what what songs do you like? How do they sound? How like how right. do they record their drums and their guitars? What's their tone like? Did you 
you know, want to take any inspiration from those types of things as well. And that right. was one of the ways that we wrote it as well. So. Okay. I feel like everything's been kind of done on a whim, but it's just worked out really well. Yeah. Because I like you guys' <laughs> sound a lot. That's Thanks. why I'm asking Thank all you. these, you know, like, hey, who inspires you and whatever, because I'm just genuinely curious. Uh, but I do want to circle back. Derek, you played everything? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. he, he's, uh, you know... Hyping me up a little too much, I think. A little but, bit uh, of everything. Listen, a little bit listen, here, a little bit there, you know? It's just people impress me because my brother's one of those people that he picks up whatever instrument, he can play it. Yeah. Oh, I'm not that guy. Oh, that's Nico. Oh, okay. I'm not that, that's Nico. Nico. That's Nico. Exactly. <laughs> Nick, no, Nick no, is like, good at everything. I'm just average at everything. That's not true. No, you're above Derek average. Derek played no, everything by true. maybe one note on the guitar. <laughs> and then maybe he played like a little, maybe plugged in the bass just to make it sound cool, you know? Yeah. <laughs> no, I did do a bit of tra- I, mostly tracking rhythm guitar yeah, on yeah. the record. Okay. But um, I did get in there in the vocal booth and do like the, oh, at the beginning, of that the was song. the biggest thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Which we, we were, we just, we had yeah. fun. That's the main part of it. Right. The whole we, thing was fun. We literally just had the best time in the studio yeah. with Alan, and we, we did, we did so many different things that we just normally would not have done, even just recording wise. Like for instance, Matt tracked the drums like in the craziest way possible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was Tell him about so, that. That's it was sick. so sick. So we, we did shell, <laughs> we did the shells and the cymbals separately, which was pretty cool because you have like control dynamically of like you know bleeding and whatnot so i was able to just bang the drums and the shells and, and kind of get a feel cymbals. and no, yeah gotcha. not the cymbals and kind of get a feel for how it sounded and then the next take was just me smacking the cymbals so, so all the percussion yeah. was done separately yeah. uh from the cymbals yeah, so the yeah, cymbal work cool. was done separate <laughs> from the percussion so that way that's why the drums just sound so like i remember being in the studio and like instantly when i like came back in after yeah. even sound checking the drum sounded phenomenal in the first was, place yeah. but like yeah. once we finished tracking and actually like alan showed us like the difference of like how clear it was night and day of how clear the symbols were yeah. in the tracks because you're just you're you're basically taking out all the noise that's going to be automatically like recorded in that audio yeah, oftentimes like you know your so, drum mic's going to pick up it's gonna pick up the symbols, right. the, and then it's gonna kind of like you know, the, the, the 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 overhead mics are I'm gonna pick up. Guy, they're gonna pick up the <laughs> snares. They're gonna pick up the the rest of the kit, the the kick drum. So that's why it's awkward for Matt because he's sitting there playing drums, but he's oh, not. Yeah, he's, yeah. How he did your leg look? He after literally that? was beating his leg oh, yeah. instead of hitting the yeah. snare. He oh, was yeah. play, when he was playing the cymbals, he was smacking oh, yeah. his leg, so his leg was destroyed. I could have been a lot like, smarter destroyed. about it. <laughs> I could have just put a, a pillow down. Or something. I yeah, think I was just caught up in the moment. We, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, we were so excited. Yeah, we were yeah. just a bunch of toddlers, like basically walking into a playground. That's what it was. Yeah. So yeah, it was fun. I'm glad you guys had yeah. fun with it. Yeah, yeah. All right, so. It's about that time to pull up a random Reddit post. Um, oh, cool. Nice. So, um, Joe's pretty profound. Yeah, we should get him on this one. <laughs> I'm not on Reddit. <laughs> I'm going to give a forewarning that it's an easy one, okay, Joe? Because um, it, I, it's pretty obvious, I mean, to, I guess, people common sense. But my boyfriend, my, this is a 25-year-old female boyfriend, 26 male, says he doesn't want me to go to parties, but doesn't think the same rule should apply to him. So to cut the time and all the shenanigans, I'm just going to read the TLDR. <laughs> My boyfriend of three years doesn't want me go to, to go to parties, but feels like it's not an issue for him to go to parties. And in the message above, she mentions, like, when he goes to parties, he's got girls, like, dancing on him and shit. Well, yeah. That's all right. I, I, that's, I would, that's, 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 that's funny because... Uh, well, that's funny because... Why don't Nick, you let Joe yeah, no, 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 I don't no, really no, have stories. I will, I will say something. I think it's, it is funny, but um, when it comes down to the reality of things, when you're in a relationship with someone, that's something that you definitely figure out guy, this guy's right. you, <laughs> not 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 that i'm the relationship guru but that's definitely something that you would find like solidified like in the beginnings of the relationship that's what you, you know, know what i mean, a thing. Uh, you know what and, I mean? That was never, you know. um i think it i think it's definitely wrong i think it's i i, I in my eyes i think that would be wrong why to say to say together? why are they not parting together yeah that's that not o- not only that about yeah the more it, right? first of all the more the merrier second of all though <laughs> uh second of all uh why would you why would you tell your partner that you can like you, I can't do like, uh, sorry that you can't do this, but I can. Like that's not. First of all, you have you shouldn't have any control of a, telling a person to do that in a relationship. I, th- in the first I still place, think but, it's all about it, they should be different. there together. Exactly. Be, but this guy, but this guy's married, so you know what? he's always thinking that they should be together. So. Why do you think he? got to that point because he's as it love. should yeah. be <laughs> i'll be the story. i'll be the, the emotional tell, guru here t- t- yeah tell your love story real quick how long have you no been i'm not gonna together? sit there. no no real i do want i do want to hear it oh, yes we're all interested on the topic. <laughs> we've been together for a very long time better than second grade oh my gosh yeah 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 that's so cute Woo! 
Oh, and she's yeah. over here too. His wife is gorgeous, by the way. Oh, okay, yeah, she anyways. is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. We've we're we're all groomsmen, since, by the way. Wait, yeah, since all, second grade. Well, we were like, you know, obviously like elementary school and stuff like that. We were just oh, knowing each other, friends, and like you know, kissing and stuff, and like you know, elementary school, and then. Come high school. Tell, tell about the time that you guys split apart real quick. It's the cutest thing. Like, uh, please. We just, He's like, like what are you like talking about? They never. went to, they went <laughs> to yeah, dip, they Cell went phones to... were new at the time, you know? So okay. we were like, like texting. Well, not cell phones were new, but texting was new. So like no one was really texting. Right. And uh, so, uh, you know, we, we, did, we were losing contact. So it was like, I'm, I'm, I had to go to... Uh, Spanish. No, I had to go to Omni Middle School, and she had to go to Eagles Landing. And in my head, that was the it's other, over. It's yeah. the other side of the world, <laughs> right? <laughs> I had to let her go. She actually had to let me go. And it was, this guy's. I remember you saying that you used to bike to her, dude. Oh yeah. You yeah. used no, to that bike. Was, that was back in high school. That was after we got back together. Oh okay, sorry. Oh, yeah, Never yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah. After they got back together, but oh, yeah. still, it was meant to be. Of it's still. And the fact that you just biked her is so sweet. I yeah, I used it. to get dropped yeah. off at my buddy's house after high oh, school. Oh, and then you sneak over there, yeah. basically. Okay, yeah. 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 Thanks. Ooh. You, you beat me. <laughs> you beat me. I've known my boyfriend since ninth grade. Nice. Oh, nice. nice. That's, still, yeah. that's still awesome. Um, so our question to you is, where's the ring? Oh. <laughs> This was, I'm, I'm going to put him on blast for a second. This was a forced promise ring. <laughs> nice, okay. nice. He went to Columbia without me. It's a very nice ring. And I was like, so are you just going to hand it over? Or is this like, does this mean something? something you asked, Eric. <laughs> I don't care. Funny. We needed to know. Right, yeah. I mean, We're it's asking okay. the deep cutting questions. Fast yeah. Walker interview. Almost, almost eight it's years like later. He's just taking his time, you know? Of course. Um, and then there's one last story I did want to ask about, even though you know I brought up the Reddit question. But uh, Nico, you you fell on top of our friend Opal over here. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> on the show. Who are you talking about? <laughs> we, had, we had a strict Who? we had a strict rule over here. We were, we no, were, no, we'll, just, <laughs> we'll, we'll discuss it. I we discussed it. She talked about it in the last the last po- uh, podcast, so we might as well bring it up and. Oh, uh, yeah. B- basically, uh, for the last song of our set, yes, I jumped up on on the bar like an idiot. It was uh, it was really fun. Um, I was dancing around, and I, I guess I can tell it from my perspective now, since she told it from her perspective. Right, right. Uh, I, I did see like your dis- like your detail was perfect. So from my end, when I was standing on the bar looking down at her, I could tell that she was she was about to either about to move, but. I could tell that for a moment she was still like gathering her things or like um, right. wait, waiting for a second. So I could tell I could leap over her. And of course, the moment I start, I l- I'm already like in air, right. she starts walking. <laughs> so luckily, luckily, she was still crouching down. She was still bent over. But yes, I did sort of oh. land on her head. <laughs> Thank God I didn't land hard because well, it, right I, I basically just did. I kind of <laughs> clipped your head and then you the for the speed of it made you go down. But the camera was the worst part. But again, no, the, moment that, the, the moment that the moment that her getting where was hurt was the worst part. The moment it happened, I instantly grabbed oh, her right God. away and I was like, are you OK? And she's like, yes, I'm totally fine. But then she runs to the bathroom and comes back out and she's <laughs> She's she's holding her chin. She's she's got a little napkin, and thank God it wasn't bad. Like she didn't split her chin open. It could have been ten times worse. Uh, so I, you know, I am sorry. And you, oh. you know, you know, you know, you, this is not just a, uh, apology a public video. apology. <laughs> but uh, at the time, I felt so terrible. Um, I sent her money for coming to shoot for for us that night, even though she literally <laughs> said, "Well, but which we we always try to ask her." Like from the beginning, she's n- tried to not take cash from us. So every time, like we're that's she's in the band yeah that's because she's in the band so she, she's literally a part of this band i don't know why she like hesitated in the question uh in the last podcast <laughs> but, but uh uh but basically um you know it, it uh i felt terrible i offered if she needed anything too after like she told like i texted her the whole night to make sure she was good she said the next day she had a friend that she was going to see that was going to take care of it and help her and thank god like i was texting her the whole time she said it's totally good it's all cleaned up, thank God. Uh, and I was like, please let me know if there's a bill. And she said, my friend hooked it up, so we're all good. So <laughs> thank you to that friend. Shout out. <laughs> Opal, Opal, baby girl, if a man offers you money, you take it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Excuse <not>. me. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. anyways, we, we guys. We still paid her every time, though. As, as you should. As, as you should. Um, this is your shameless plug moment. If you guys want to promote anything that's coming up, just, you know. Fast Walker. Know. Well, yeah. we just we just dropped a we just dropped a music video. Yeah. So uh, if you guys uh, go check it out on YouTube, search up "Play Pretend." Um, we just dropped it. We shot it in uh, Miami in Key Biscayne, I believe. Uh, so just yeah, uh, check it out. We worked really really hard. I sweat the entire day moving oh the gear gosh. all <laughs> back and forth. We all did, but to to be real though, your boy did most of the work in the beginning. Oh, okay, absolutely. All right. just saying. We have uh, we're gonna be going back up to Massachusetts to go record again with Alan. Oh yeah. That's coming up soon, that. so yes. uh, you know, we have a few songs we're going to be releasing. We've been writing, we're playing live, we're playing live 
Uh, what? This Friday. This Friday. This Friday. This is probably coming out a little This bit Friday bit. at Tough Times. Later, right? Beta. May 6th yeah. at Tough yeah, Times. Uh, May 6th, well, Tough Times. We'll post tonight. Uh, we are fast at Fast Walker Band on Instagram and TikTok. We are Fast Walker FL on YouTube. Our boy Sam that shot and edited our music video Shout is out at, Sam. Al, at Malocho. How do you say his? Uh, uh, Malocho Media. Malocho Media. I believe is how it's pronounced. And then at shieldmanworker.jpg. Check out Opal, Woo! our friend. That's yes. still our friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our incredible yeah. friends that make incredible content and work with us because they love it, and it's we, and that's that's the best part about everyone that's involved with Fast Walker is that like everyone that somehow organically has been a part of it has been doing it because they just do it for the love. It's awesome. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Listen and, to Play Pretend and check out our brothers in Eastway. They're awesome. Yeah. Other awesome local band. Okay, everybody got all that. Oh, thank you guys coming for coming out. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome, and hopefully it's not the last time you swing by and see your citizen podcast. Thank you. Thank you for having us. <laughs>